this great feast day of Saint Joseph, I extend a warm festival greetings to all of you. Today, let us ponder on the topic, Saint Joseph's obedience leads to holiness. We know that grace flows to the one who obeys the will of God. Saint Joseph's holiness reflects in his obedience to God's plan. Saint Matthew writes that Saint Joseph was a just or righteous man, a synonym for holy, a person in a right relationship with God. Saint Francis de Sales once said, He was a just man, and so his will was at all times attuned, conformed, and united to the will of God. His whole life was in relationship to God. He shows us how to attune our life fully to God's will. The angel of the Lord appears to Joseph only in dreams and commands him various things and Joseph faithfully obeys God's commands. He is just told what to do and he does it through his unquestioning obedience. Obedience is a misunderstood virtue. Many people are of the opinion that obedience to authority limits their freedom, requiring them to hand over their rights to others. This is not the case. In fact, obedience to laws, obedience to authorities is a part of everyday human life. Saint Joseph repeatedly sacrificed whatever his own plans might have been to fulfill God's plan. Saint Joseph is often depicted with a lily as a sign of holiness. He teaches us that it is possible to love without possessing, as he was the protector and chaste husband of Virgin Mary. Holiness is a virtue that helps a person to have self-mastery so that one can give oneself to others in the way that is best for them. St. Peter says in his first letter, chapter 1, verses 14 to 16, As obedient children, do not conform to the evil desires you had when you lived in ignorance. But just as he who called you is holy, so be holy. Obedience to God necessitates becoming holy like him. Let us remember that holiness affects not only our personal relationship to God, but all, our, all of our relationships. So let us follow the path of Saint Joseph, so that our obedience may lead us to holiness, and we may be able to keep up good rapport with God and with our fellow men. Wish you all a fruitful London season. God bless us.